that would make me want to go anywhere else. To just sit back, listen to some music. Definitely recommend this clinic, yeah, definitely. I'm late, man. Oh, oh, bro, what are you doing, bro? Champ, what are you doing, man? Man, I just walked from Jersey, man. What are you doing, bro? Oh, good to be here, man. I tried to be in measure my neck, man. Measure your neck? Yes. Yo, why, 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 why do you want to do this? Bro, do you know Nexilla, yeah? Yeah, I, I know. He doesn't have a neck. He has his neck like this. I, when he, he becomes famous because of Nexilla, my neck is bigger than Look, him. I, hold on, let me see. Measure him, him. measure him. Let me measure him right now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Four feet! No way! Four feet! No way! Yeah! Yeah, man! Yeah! Four, Four feet. feet! I want to go post it. Yo, bend it up, stop looking soft, stop looking weak, stop looking sloppy. Welcome to this episode, this podcast, Generation Podcast. Man, listen, tune in right now. I'm your host, Indio Champ. Are you ready? Are they ready? ready. Now, let's get it started, man. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Let's get it started, man. Hey, Rick, <laughs> listen to this, man. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up. So we, got, uh, we got a special host, special guest here today, obviously. The one and only NDO champ. NDO, you've been an incredible motivational athlete, bodybuilder, spokesperson, you name it. I mean, what do you what do people know you as? What do you, what do you want to be known as? Damn, man. It's so many things we accomplished, man. You know what I mean? And, and, and it's crazy, champ. When I go to this expo, we have so many people that come up to me like, yo, you know what I'm saying? From just from the motivation part of life. Right. Right. People gravitate, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, when you speak, you speak into me. You speak life into me. You speak positivity into me. Because of you, I, my mindset changed the way I look at life. Then you have a fan that come up to you like, yo, yo, man, you my best bodybuilder, man. You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, boom. You inspire me. Boom, boom, boom. Now you got somebody else be like, yo, you know what I'm saying? When I'm going through depression, I'm going through anxiety. I lost my mother, my father. I'm going through that dark place. And when I wash your skit, you know what I'm saying? You kick the fool out of people's head. Yeah. It just give me joy. It made me happy. And you got other fans that will come to you that, like, yo, bro, when you came out of prison, man, you know what I mean? You changed our mindset at coming home. Like, yo, you, you, you cancel all the excuses for people to come home and be like, yo, ain't no job out here. Nobody cares. Nobody loves you. You make mm -hmm. us understand, like, yo, you can make it happen. Of course, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's so many. Shout out, man. We, we, <laughs> yeah, man. We've been wow. big, fans of, uh, big, big fans of NDO for quite a long time. In Thank fact, you, we've brother. seen the rise of NDO here at Generation Iron mm. because we've seen it from the very beginning. Yeah. We've seen yeah. the energy. We've seen the motivation. We've seen all the, uh, the great videos, the co comedic videos yeah. that obviously bring a lot of really like laughter to this to, what, to, was, to the video that, that, what was the video that that put you on the map with oh. this like mainstream was it the yeah. sports center uh sports center when they shared your video no yeah yeah nah, was, it, it, was it like the one that's like boom got you out of there no it was a video that i did in dunkin donuts Dunkin and donuts. when i wake up the morning i had like three hundred thousand followers wow just and, a video <laughs> <that> just <laughs> one video i didn't even know it was the hit you know what i'm saying um you know i mean every time i create a video i live that character you know what i'm saying so the video was like, if I have a client that comes to me and said, I had a doctor appointment, my doctor said I have one day to live. I have a week, you know what I'm saying? So I gotta go in the gym, I gotta lose the weight or I'm gonna die. That's how I imagine, it's go deep. So the skit go deep, so I live it, I put it in my mind, then I put it in my heart, then I, now I, I transform my body into it when I put these things in my head. 
So now I'm looking at this client. I'm giving you my time, my effort, my pain. I'm pushing you. You ain't even paying me. I'm like, yo, we're going to make sure you live. Then I'm like, yo, you know what? Let me drive by on this client and see what he does with it 24 hours after he leaves me. Right. And when you drive by him, he at Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ordering a big box of donuts with, 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 with an with a ice cream, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Glazed donut, and you walk in there. So I got out of the car. I'm living the character. Now. I'm in. I'm in the mood. I'm mad. So I open the door. I walk in there, kick it out his hand, grab him. Like yo, what's wrong with you, man? You can't stay committed for one minute. You know what I'm saying? Are you serious? And he was like, yo, I'm trying, champ. You know what I'm saying? And he broke down. He like, yo, I'm trying. I'm like, trying what? You know what I'm saying? So that was a real thing or you were planning? No, I planned it in my head. Oh, yeah, it wasn't right, real, right, right. but I live it. And when right, I wake right, up the right. next morning, ESPN had it on, Sports Center had it on. Everybody. And right now, that, that, that video is a gift. You know what I'm saying? The news has, you know what I mean? It's on every iPhone. If you go to the iPhone right now, you try to text a, a message to a friend, put in trainers, right. you will see my walk. <laughs> that walk, is, that, that walk is famous. Your man. walk is famous. That's why you came for that day. Did, it, did you ever have a skit everybody. where it went bad? Like when something happened and the guy didn't expect you to do something, and they're like, "What the f is going on, man?" Oh, two but, things you are yeah. famous: walk and, uh, <laughs> and kick. Yeah. Kick. <laughs> but did, oh you, did you ever kick something and you just went wrong? Like the the video had to be stopped. Oh, the video had to be stopped. You know what I'm saying? I never do a two take videos. Always one take. Yeah, I mean that's what we so I had a company. Mean. I had a company. And I did the video, the video was perfect. And I'm like, yo, you never mentioned this. I'm like, yo, this video gonna hit. You're like, yo, can we do it again? And when we, when we try to do it, the artist was scared. And I was mm -hmm. gonna kick. And I felt like he moved. So I was coming with so much foes, oh, I had man. to lay my feet on a, on a concrete. Because if I would have hit him, he would have, you know what I'm saying? I would have broke him. Yeah, yeah I would have yeah. broke him. So that whole month, my whole legs was sore for a minute. And the video right now got 90 million views. The wow. first, the first wow. one. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. <laughs> so how do you feel about how do you feel about people like because everybody wants to go viral, right? Let's let's yeah. be real, right? Yeah, we, yeah. We're in a society yeah, right yeah. now, people want clout, everybody, right? Yeah. Obviously, you discovered something that works for you 100 percent right? Yeah. So how do you feel about when people want to do like stunts on camera? in an attempt to go viral. Do you look at it like, uh, you guys are trying too hard? Or do you look at it like, do you, you know what I mean? Like literally, you know, find your niche, you know? I think, I think when you try to force it, that's when it feel like you take, you take the love out of it. You know what I'm saying? You like, some people wake up in the morning, like, yo, what, what can I do to go viral? What can I do? You know what I'm saying? It's gotta come naturally. Right. When it come naturally, it become a success. You know what I'm saying? That it's natural. When you looking for stuff to do, okay, boom, all right. If I could jump off this building and fall, I'm going to go viral. What happened after that? <laughs> Nothing. After, what happened after that? After you that, today it. you go viral, what happened? Right, right, A right. company going to come to you and be like, yo, do it again. <laughs> you got to do it again. Again. Right, you, right. you seem like You seem like the guy that gets up in the morning and is like, you're ready. You're set to start your day motivated, positive, ready to go. Because like yeah. you said, you know, you can, you can focus on all the negative and all yeah. the dark stuff right, yeah. in the world. But you wake up. What is your routine like in the morning? Oh, you, you wake, wake up, up right now. Oh, you wake up. I feel like getting up in the morning is a gift. That's a gift. Nobody owe you nothing. Nobody promised nothing for you tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? When I go to bed, I'm like, yo, I did what I had to do today. If I wake up in the morning, it's an extension of what I'm doing. It's a gift. You know what I mean? So when you wake up in the morning, I tell people, guys, you wake up in the morning, first thing you do, you take a shower, you clean yourself, right? Clean your ears, your nose, your hair, you brush yourself, boom, 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 and you put on something fresh on, and you go somewhere quiet while the kids are asleep. You look at them like five in the morning, you look at the kids, they sleep. You know what I'm saying? You go in a quiet place right. and you don't step your nasty foot on the ground. You look for a towel and you stand on it. You get on your knees and say, God, thank you for grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for having compassion on me. Thank you for just giving me another day. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of what's happening. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Regardless. Yeah, yeah. You gain that little five, ten minutes, two minutes. Like, I, yo, believe, I believe every day is like a lottery ticket, you know? Yeah, hey, bro. It's, it's, it's like gift, another day, yeah. another chance, you know, to you be fix yourself from yesterday, you know? It's fix our old problem or anything you want to achieve. For yo, I have like eight to nine rules I came up with 20, 20, 20, 24. I see that my first rule I wrote down 2024, 20, I said, you got to, you have to document your planning. Document it. 
You know what I'm saying? Everything mm -hmm. that you plan to do this year, you write it down. Mm -hmm. Everything you want Manif Manifestation, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you write it down. This is what I'm going to do. Then second, you have to acknowledge your, your priority. You know what I'm saying? What's, what's, what is my priority? What is so important? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Describe that. You know what I'm saying? Then you have to protect. You got to protect your plan. You got to protect your vision. You got to protect your goals. Because people are going to come around you try to steal your ideas and run with it. Try to steal your plans. They're going to come around show you white tea, black heart. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, damn, Chim is popping right now. Let me go around. Let me see what idea you got. Snatch it up. They probably got resources, money to front that idea. Be like, damn, I had that idea. Protect the idea. Protect your priority. You know what I'm saying? And fourth, you got to, every decision got to base on your destiny. Every decision that you make in a day when you wake up, all right, boom, this interview I'm doing, it is based on my destination. Or this part of the plan when I'm going. You know what I'm saying? Yo, champ, come to this party. This party is based on my destination. Champ, let's go get some girl. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Everything that is based on your destination. And then fifth, you got to go over everything that you invest in. Right. You invest in this microphone. You invest in your time. You invest in your product. You invest in training. I got three coaches. You know what I'm saying? How much is that? I'm doing 1500 a month in just training. You know what, mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Gas, 700 a month. Easy pass, 700 a month. You know what I'm saying? My kids, college to it, uh, uh, school fees. You know what I'm saying? You write everything down so it double your grind. It double your grind, double your hustle. Yeah. Then after that now, you got to do inventory. I was recording a video, right? And the video stopped in the middle of somebody like, yo, Chim, I can't record them. I said, what happened? Say, your memory is full. No. Guess what? I had old people in my phone for three years ago that I recorded that used to be with me. Now, they drop out, they left, they betrayed me, so I gotta delete them. So you gotta go into your establishment and delete people around you. If they ain't called me in 2023 when I was hurting, when I was going through traps and tribulation, when I was hustling, you never text me, never call me. So in 2024, you delete these people. And second, next, you have to understand that you can't please everybody. You cannot please every people no, around that. you that you pay every day. Right. Someone that someone that don't even like you. Right. You know what I'm saying? You try to please this person, that person don't even like you. They don't even appreciate it. That's what <laughs> you're that, doing everything. Yeah, yeah. And that's something Vic talked about. Vic actually talked about too, is that he has a lot of regrets from giving people time. Time. You give yeah. everything to the people. You try to bring low yourself down, lower your standard, just to make them happy, just to please and above. They don't even care. Right. right. And when you understand that in 2024, and the last and not least, that we're telling them. If you owe me $2, $10, whatever you did to me in the past, in 2023, I forgive you. Move on. Like the Bronx. Build team. the future. Build the base. Keep moving. Keep driving. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Live with this principle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Eat healthy. Stay focused. No distraction. Well, you look like someone that's been very focused. And um, we've seen the, the videos. We've seen you in, all, in so many circles, <laughs> quite honestly. Not only just bodybuilding and strength sports, but also... Entertainment. We've seen Snoop yeah. post you as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's it's really amazing to see that. So, what what are your goals right now? I mean, I know we heard that you're looking to compete. Yeah, you're looking to get on stage. That's something you haven't done yet. Right? Are you yeah. a, you a pro bodybuilder? Yeah, I turned pro 2019. 2019. Since I turned pro, I haven't you know what I mean I haven't been on stage since then. You know what I'm saying? I turned pro 2019. A lot of people don't know that. No, no a lot of people don't know that because yeah. you know what I'm saying. It's, I don't even I would consider myself as an athlete, so. A lot of people don't even know that. And people that been following me for so long when we came up with me, I owed in that. I owed in that. Because a lot of people die to become a pro. A lot of people cry for that. You know what I'm saying? And then like, you know what I mean? I did, did it because somebody said I couldn't do it. Right. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I did it because somebody said, oh, you can't be pro. You know what I mean? Oh, look at me. I ain't never been pro. I did 100 shows. I'm like, I'm not you. You live in a prison. You a prisoner to your past. Don't bring that on me. True. You know what I'm saying? I gotta ask you about your bo I gotta ask you about your boxing career. I really wanted to know more oh, the about boxing. the boxing yeah. career. <laughs> so was it six months ago you fought arguably one of the best boxers? Nah time world champion, one of the greatest I ever Roy Jones gloves. Jr. Yeah. How did that happen nice. and what happened with that exactly? Bro, you know what I'm saying? I had a call. I had a call from celebrity boxing. They're like, yo, we want to sign you for a fight. I said, all right. So I don't care who I fight. You know what I'm saying? As long as it's signed right. 
So they're like, oh, we just signed Roy Jones. I said, who? <laughs> I said, yeah, we try to put a match together for you guys. That's crazy. So I'm like, yo, let me Google this guy. You know what I'm saying? I know him, but I'm like, yo, I'm like, nah, it's our word. <laughs> Nuts, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But the whole thing was we were supposed to do something that's so incredible that nobody had been done. Different. Different. A metaverse. A metaverse fight is not us wearing. No, it's a metaverse fight. Like how we sitting right now, it's a camera over us and we in the rain going head to head. So you're then actually boxing. We boxing. <laughs> oh, I would tell the people, I said, yo. But the people are seeing the yeah, metaverse. That thing trash. I, I swear to God, I'm so mad because we nobody couldn't recall. The fight, you know what I'm saying? Because they don't want, they don't want nobody to leak the fight that night. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, everybody wants to check the pay per view. Yeah. yeah. You know why what I'm why didn't they show both the metaverse version and the real? Because nobody actually recorded it. Yeah. They were just depending on this. You put some footage out, right? Of the actual yeah, they had one. You know what I'm saying? Oh, but it oh, wasn't. So it wasn't recorded and broadcasted afterwards. Just yeah. the meta, just just the metaverse. It's version. just a metaverse version that was recorded. They so how how was it fighting him actually in the ring? Bro, the man was hitting me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The whole game plan was right. The whole game plan was because you know you know what I'm saying. As a body, because he had a he said, "All right, he's a bodybuilder." So after fifth round, he going his shoulders going to get tired. So in training camp, I already know that. So my trainer used to have me in the in the ring with like three different Mexicans. And then would you fight me at once? <laughs> and it was specialized in speed and power. So these guys, I used to be right in North in the ring. I got a video. You know what I'm saying? I've seen, you, I've seen your training. Yeah, yeah with yeah. these guys. So my training, I used to, I used to start jump right in five sets of five minutes. Then I would hit the heavy bag for 30 minutes straight. Thousands of thousands. Wow, you were, that was a serious training then. Yeah, no, bro. We would, I was even going to uh, Zab Judah father in Brooklyn. Oh, wow. To train. You know, I remember, you Zab know, I remember because beast. of that, because of that no event, one. <laughs> because of that event, you lost a lot of weight too. Yeah, I went from 260 to 230. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? So people think it was a game. I'm like, yo, you think this is a game. It's not. No computer. So like, real, wait for the computer so real, punch. It was a real fight. You guys were actually getting It was it. a real fight. So the first time I come in, I'm like, right, I'm gonna come in with a jab, boom, boom, boom. So I'm, I'm in there. So you like, I right, bet. So boom. Second round, I'm coming. I'm being aggressive. I'm being explosive. I'm coming in, ba ba ba. I'm coming with a jab. Bam. Third round, I'm like, oh shit, I gotta slow it down. Now. <laughs> he got, he got you a few times. Yeah, he got me in the fourth and the fifth round. Ba -ba -ba -ba. He hit me with a combination left to the body, left to the face, straight right hand. Man. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's one of the best ever, though. I'm just saying, like, bro, that, yo. But the idea is that I did it for the youth, man. Right. You know how it's important for kids that are boxing right now Definitely. to see somebody who came from the bottom, who been locked up, who came from the <clears throat> war zone, who came outside and bring that back to his community. Right. Not bro, Roy Jones yeah. into my community. That have right. a, the press conference was in my city. You, you pressed him at that press conference. Yeah, like, yo, bro, I'm not <laughs> you all. It's over. <laughs> Shit that over. <laughs> like, yeah, it's over. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's like, right, I got something for you. But it was a great experience, man. You know what I'm saying? But it eat up because the training was different from bodybuilding. Yeah, so my completely, awesome. completely different. Awesome. It's a completely different. You know game. what I'm saying? Imagine keeping your hands up the whole time, building into 99% of boxing is it's endurance, speed, stamina. You know what I'm saying? It's not even got to do with muscle. Mm -hmm. So for the past month, I wasn't touching weights. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I would have the rope. I would do a, I would set a clock for an hour. I would do a rope 10 seconds stop. Car cardio, nonsense. You know what I mean? Jump squat 10 seconds stop. You know what I'm saying? Then I would do a, a duck walk stop. I would hit the bag stop. I would do dips. I would do pull ups. You know what I'm saying? Then I would, I'm gonna do rope. You know what I mean? Full work. I would stop. I would jump rope stop. Wow. I would do some abs stop. I would do <laughs> like 135 on the bench. Quick you know what I mean? Quick stop. An hour. You're not stopping. So do you wanna box? Do you wanna box again or no? Man, the money got to be right because it's a lot. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of training. Yeah. The money got to be right. It got to be time. It got to be team because a lot of trainers invest their time into me building my muscle. A lot of coaches. So if I just say, all right, I not turn down 20,000, 30,000 to gain the ring. I not turn that down. I could make that off a of skill. Would you fight, yelling, you know would you fight Jake Paul? Oh, Jake Paul, I would break. Yo, I swear to you God. Think you, you think you would beat him? What? Honestly. Bro, whatever I train for, I'm dangerous. <laughs> I know. I'm I telling you. Nah, I'm serious. If I lock in, if I lock in, I'm dangerous. Hey, listen, anything is possible. I mean, no, we, I'm, I'm telling you. 
anything. I'm dangerous. I'm, I'm, if, so if can I'm, you beat him or no? Just one word. Yes or no? What do you mean yes or no? <laughs> he yes. said yes. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, I want to I say, I want yeah. to say, I want to Jack Paul. Jack Paul. He said Jack Paul, yes. no, 18 reach out. One of his, a, a, a trainer reach out to me. Oh, he did? A trainer reach out to me. Man, he DM me like, yo, Chen, let's gain a ring and spar. I'm like, why would I spar you? You got a fighter. Right. You I want to yeah. watch that fight. Like, no, we get some content. I say, my man, why content? I do content every day. Right, right, right. You, 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 you training one of the best fighters in the world right now. He's a content creator. I'm a content creator. You know what I mean? Whatever. I'm a professional athlete. Mm-hmm. What do you think about him? What do you mindset. think about him? He's a good. He's a good. He's a good no, person. Jake is great. Wow. Dedication. Dedication. You know, Mike Rashid challenged him to like a two million dollar bout. I think Mike, you know Mike Rashid, obviously. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he Mike challenged him to like a to like a fight. I don't know. Nah, he won't fight Mike. He won't fight Mike Rashid. Mike would beat him, you think? They won't fight. It would be a good fight. It would be a good fight. But if Mike had to come down, Mike is heavy, right? Yeah, Mike had to come down to on a two hundred. Mm. But Jake is what two, one one ninety. Yeah. yeah. I, when I was training, I came down to two ten. You know what I'm saying? That's a, that's the. I could come lightest. down. I could come down, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like I know how to do it. I was running. I was the first body bit I ran uh, 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 15.5 miles. It took me three hours. Who would you want to fight in the fitness industry specifically? Yeah, would you would you box Liver King? Who? Liver, yeah. liver King. The yeah, one that eats liver that's, that would be interesting. That would be a good fight too. Somebody told him like, yo, why you don't do video with Chimp? He said, why Chimp can't do video with me? <laughs> oh, really? You said that? Oh, shit. For real? <laughs> Somebody keep tagging all his page. <laughs> yo, but these fights going to be amazing. You know what I'm saying? Based on that when the money is right, it's got to be right. It got to be right because now everything goes on the line. Because when the money is right, guess what I'm doing? I'm getting on a flight and go somewhere where nobody know me. I'm going to the mountain to train. I'm talking about I'm going to eat it, sleep it, live it every day. Take it seriously. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not coming in there as a celebrity. That's why I don't do celebrity boxing. I'm not a celebrity. You know yeah, what I think you're a celebrity. But you, you're a professional, uh, obviously. Yeah, but you know, but we talk about that because people get it messed up when they talk about the celebrity thing. Right. They get over their head. That they don't want to train. Then when they go in there, you got your parents, you got their teammate, that they try to show off. You know what I'm saying? Everything you see by closed door, it go out the window because the crowd is there. Like, yo, 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 hit him, hit him. Then they try to, you know what I mean? Then you got pop, pop, pop. Right, right. But yeah, I think you and Liver King would be a good match. That would be a good match. Would you ever somebody put the money up? Would you ever do money? I mean, if the, if the money was right, would you ever do a slap contest? Nah, that's stupid. Oh, yeah. What do you think about a slap contest? That's, it's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no mess. You you slap me. I'm a. I'm a <laughs> there's, there's no waiting. You nah, go. <laughs> hell no, man. <laughs> what was your reaction the first time you saw it? Yeah, the kid. The kid who used to do slap. We call him slap for cash. <laughs> I was I was able to fight him. Really? The big kid. I be smacking jokers. Oh, uh, d- dumpling. You mean? Uh, yeah, one of him. No, but he's, he's big. I said, my man, you 400 pounds. You can't catch me in the ring. What you gonna smack? <laughs> <Four hundred pounds. laughs> See, but man, you can't catch. But what do you like more, body? What do you like more, getting ready for the bodybuilding contest or for the boxing match? Oh, boxing match! You know what, boxing? I love, I love the boxing. Boxing get me, but boxing get me in a, boxing get me in a different mood, man. It get me in a like, cause when I, you know, say with bodybuilding, I'm very motivated. I could see somebody at the gym. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Whoa, whoa. Boxing, nah. The same people you say hi to. If you had to get in the ring with them, they'll try to kill me. <laughs> so I come in there, you know, I'm a bodybuilder. I come in there, I'm bringing that same mindset as a bodybuilder. Right. Bring, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Showing love to the kids that, yo, yo. So now I come in the boxing gym now. I'm getting ready to, for training. I'm saying hi to them. All right. Coach said, yo, I want you to spot this person today. Come in there. I'm taking it easy. And then Joker come in there. What? 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 I said, yo, I just said, what up to this kid? <laughs> <laughs> you trying to take my head off. You know what I'm saying? So now, I don't say n- So now I got to wake up four in the morning and try to do an hour run, a, a thousand sit-ups, a thousand, a, a, 500 pull-up, 500 dip. I try to be 10 steps ahead of them before they even get up. Because mm-hmm. now it's, it's not a game. Right. You know what I'm saying? So now you in a fight, you in a different mindset. You know what I mean? You always oh, alert. You 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 say all the time is stop looking sloppy, right? That's one of your things you like yeah, to say. Stop yeah, looking sloppy, yeah. get on your diet, right? But do you think a lot of boxers out there, I'm not saying names, but yeah. they, their physiques kind of look sloppy. Yeah, they're everything. sloppy, man. Sloppy and sober, man. When you when you when you in the type of sport, you gotta stay war ready, man. 
You know what I'm saying? Whatever. They're good, though. They're good boxers. They're good boxers, but you sloppy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You're sloppy. <laughs> not, you know what I mean? You could be great, but you sloppy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Skills and work ethic is different. You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. You represent. Yeah. You got to represent. You got to look at part. So you're getting ready to compete in the, this year sometime. I know Muscle Men's. Shout out to Muscle Men's. They've been a great shout out to Muscle Men's. What's up? Blend it up. <laughs> They've been a big, big supporter of it. UNDO. Of yeah, course, yeah, and man. Your shout diet out to the whole and your routine. Team. So tell us a little bit about what your diet would consist of. Like or usually, like let's say you're not competing, but like let's say now, what what does your diet look like? Oh, in the now. morning after I done in the morning, what I do? I do like uh, twelve eggs right now. Eight egg whites, four whole eggs. Raw. Um. Raw eggs? No, no egg whites. Egg cooked. Whites. Yeah, cooked. I used to do raw eggs. When I run it out of time, I just shake it up and drink it. Like keep a rock it moving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but now I have a little bit of time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When I had three jobs, I never cooked my eggs. I just drink it <laughs> on live. You know what I mean? That's how I started. You know yeah, I remember that. The blend, the yeah, blend, blend it up, yeah. throw the raw eggs in there, drink I'm out of the house. Yep. But a little bit now, I got a little bit of time, so I'll be on live in the morning, prep that up. Then after that, I get... You know what I'm saying? The uh, mass gainer, because I got to put on some weight now. So I would do two scoops of my mass gainer with blueberry, strawberry, raspberry, banana, oatmeal, peanut butter. And I would blend it. I would drink that while I'm cooking my eggs. So I already had that first protein in. Boom. Got it. You know what I'm saying? So then after the gym, I would just probably put two scoops of, you know what I mean, lean meal in my cup, shake it out, straight steak and potatoes, shake that up, drink it before I go to my meals. You know what I mean? Then, um, I have a night workout, I'll probably do the RTDs, what is that, 40 grams of protein yeah. before I get home. So that would take me to my, to the crib. Yeah, we love, I love the RTDs. Those are the, honestly, oh, some yeah. of the best Vanilla RTDs. cupcake. That beef protein RTD and the, the, oh. the, the protein count and all those things, it's amazing, so. Amazing, RTD was the best thing it ever made, man. It's just on the go, you know what I'm saying? You ever try a carnivore diet, just just meat and chicken, like no, no carbs, you ever try that? No, man. Yeah. I, I don't, I have two days after carbs. That's why when I turned pro, it took me like four weeks for diet. Just for me not going on. That's probably why I didn't show it a long time. Yeah. Because <laughs> the carbs, man. Yeah, yeah. I love my carbs. Yo, I, if I, I don't carbs have too. carbs, <laughs> bruh, I got to be in the house at 12 o'clock. My whole body <laughs> shut down. Damn. Yeah. There was so a guy in the news. Train. His name is Jonathan Griffith. He eats a stick of butter every day. Stick of butter. Who Stick of butter that? every day. That's a uh, yeah. That's a keto. You right about that? It's it's definitely not to your heart, I guess. But. It's kind of disgusting, though, no? <laughs> yes. Ah, come on, man. My man. Only thing you think gotta have that. beef, man. Come on. <laughs> what kind of chicken stuff is that, man? I don't know. You gotta man. have beef, though. It's you gotta crazy. have some type of. There's a lot of crazy diets in this, right? You hear about the crazy diets all the time. Yo, really? some people tell you that that diet. I'd be like, Yo, bro, why would you? You a human being? What type of life are you living? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> bro, if that's the only thing, the only thing you're going to, bro, money, cost, everything. When you die right now, the only thing you take into heaven, if you made it to heaven, whatever heaven is, is what you put in your stomach. So you want to take butter to heaven? <laughs> that's the last meal you want to eat? If God call you out today and say, yo, that's it. No. This is it. <laughs> God, I'm coming with butter. <laughs> <laughs> what? Kick you out. <laughs> Man, I brought you on earth for you to... Pursue your purpose. For you to pursue your mission with strength. Do you have you a butter? Yeah. Do you have a cheat meal that you like? Yeah, I love. Oh man, my daughter would tell you. My daughter would be like, yo, I love my Wendy's cheat meal. Triple cheat meal. Wendy's. Burgers. Triple. Two triple. triple burgers. How many? Triple. Not one. Okay. One. one. Yeah. Well, triple. Light mayonnaise. Light tomato. Light mayonnaise. Light ketchup. And lettuce. You know what I'm saying? And a French fry with no salt. The reason why I say no salt is so I want it fresh. You know what I mean? Because when you ain't say that, they give you the old joint. Because the cheap meal got to be very important. You know what I'm saying? Then I get the uh, strawberry lemonade, large. You know what I mean? It take me like four bites. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I ain't want it no more. How often do you have cheap meal? Once a week. I got, Once but man, I train hard, man. Yeah. I train hard. I do 600 reps when I, I go you. in the gym. Damn. My last day is three hours. I go to bath gym every Wednesday. I drive an hour, 30 oh, minutes. You go to bath gym? Yeah. Every third, every Wednesday, call that's, it, I'm there. That's so far away. Me and Justin man. Miller. I train with Justin every is he, is Wednesday. He, is Justin your coach? Yeah. Oh, I got two he, coaches. Oh. Justin and... Uh, uh, Yo, shout, shout out, out to Justin. Yeah, Justin shout out to Justin. He trained Justin, George, George Peterson. He trained with yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. he, he He don't play with me on last day, man. <laughs> he don't care how far I drive. He don't care what I do. Bro, we start with Justin one mission. Just one mission, eight sets. 
15 to 10 reps. <laughs> Chef, you came into this industry, I remember around 2016-ish, right? Something like that. You came into the industry, like, right? It's 15, 17, maybe something like that, right? Yeah, I took, I, I started my IG 2011. Then I started bodybuilding 2012, August. You know what I'm saying? But as then, far as NDO, like. Or oh, NDO, yeah, probably right? 2013. 13, yeah. Yeah, 13. But you came but into- I came out, I started blowing up like 2017. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah 2017. But you yeah. came in this industry as, a, as a kind of, you were a fan. You were paying a lot of respect to everybody, I remember. You're going to the expos. Yeah. And I'm sure you met at this point everybody in the industry, right? Yeah. Everybody. Everybody, yeah. In your opinion, who was the guy that you, or the girl that you met who you thought were like genuine and great and turned out to be different if you met somebody like that? And who was the best person you've met in the industry so far? Out of the personalities. Damn. No, people. Have you people, ever had a bad experience? With some people, when you see them? Damn, who can I even? That time I've grown so. And a lot of people, when you started, they ain't even around no more. You know what I'm saying? People that you're seeing, they're not even around no more for you to, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Some people that you first seen, like, yo. Who was the best person you met? Who, who like a, that's a real like you know I really like respected him before and I respect him even more after meeting them. Mm. Right now I would say my man, uh, the, the first I met and up to now we still cool. My CT Fletcher man, CT mm. Fletcher been a realist that I ever met. You know what I'm saying? Just leaving Jersey, going to an event when I started going. You know what I mean? Just mm -hmm. going there watching Iron Wars, right? Iron Wars, yeah. And now being part of it, like I'm the host of Iron Wars. We're just filming there in LA with you. You know what I'm saying? I would, I'm the host of 225, 315. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And four or five, like yo, I just was going at two, 2016, just watching the energy this guy put out. You know what I'm saying? The energy, the brotherhood. There yeah, the brotherhood. It's you know really what I'm nice. It never yeah, changed yeah. since then. Right. A lot of people, you meet them, you know what I'm saying, online. When you meet them in person, you know what I mean? Like yo, what's up? What's up? And it turned Hollywood. Like yo, pop right. never changed up. Right. You know what I'm saying? You see some girls, you meet like yo, 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 and even before you look, oh hey, how you doing? Yeah, yeah, CT is amazing. I mean, we we did that movie on yeah. his life. His like, I mean, his that, that that story itself resonated with so many people. He was like, even The Rock was talking about the film. Yeah, we had people like Joe Rogan talking about it as well. Pretty, oh, it's pretty. Dope. I mean, his story really went far, and yeah. people really identified with the story. You know? And it's crazy. He called me, pop, hit me up like your chap. Your story is so interesting. I want to do an interview on you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I had to flew to L.A. and sit with him and did a podcast with him. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and what we were talking, we had so much in common that we were brought up, you know what I'm saying, the energy we put out, just go and get it self-made, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just having that heart as a line, just going for it. Like, there ain't no handouts out here, man. You know what I mean? You got to be willing to work harder. Not work hard, but be the hardest man working. You feel me? You got to understand, a kid that comes from Africa, it's hard for me, you know what I'm saying, coming to America at the age of 16, my school being burnt down at the age of five when I was in the fifth grade, having been to school until I came to the U.S. So you're 16 years old, and you say in ninth grade, you just came from the fifth grade education in Africa, you say in six, 16 years old in a classroom, you don't even know what they're talking about. You gotta figure out that shit quick. Like, ain't nobody gonna come and help you. Right. Yeah, you, you wearing the wrong clothes in the wrong neighborhood, and you getting jumped every day, you gotta figure it out. I have to blend in. Either you're going to be part of the family business or you're going to be the one to be punching on. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's make you who you are. It make you stronger. It make you go get it. Like, I, it's, it's no handout. It's, you know what I mean? You got to work for everything Everything I ever got is grind. People are going to come and show you white teeth, black heart. People are going to come and leave and go. But you got to keep pushing. You know what I'm saying? You got to keep pushing. You know what I mean? All that. You know, a lot of people that on IG now, the, the crazy thing, they go on IG and start crying. They want validation. They want somebody to listen to their story. Oh, I did this. This person did this to me. What? Be the man up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. You know right what I'm saying? That. People going down there crying for validation. That's Waiting for true. their fans to say, oh, we sorry for what happened. You feel what? sorry. You yeah. Feel sorry. Don't feel sorry for me. When I got shot, Three day, three day, three weeks later, I was on stage. Bullet went through my legs, blood, blood dripping down my legs. Man, 20, so, 2014. 2014, yeah. Well, I put a duct tape around my legs and went on stage. You think I have hundreds of friends, hundreds of students, 
You think anybody show up? No. Nah. My son was nine. My son, 18 years old. He turned 18 on the 7th of this month. Wow. My so son was there in 2014. Wow. Wow. With a phone recording, he was so amazed. He even press record. So we're going to be seeing Nendio on stage soon. Oh, yeah. And when, when do we expect that to happen? Right, around August. August. Okay. You know, you, let me you give me some sure? time. Let me de develop them, them, them wheel. Because from running 15.5 miles on these legs, <laughs> I got to rebuild them joints back. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Not easy. Not easy. You know, Did you so pick the show? Did you pick the show? I'm thinking about uh, Texas Pro. Because I'll I be saying this so all these suckers will get a weight up, man. I tell bodybuilder, if you in the bodybuilder when I'm coming, when I'm coming, I'm gonna make you great because I'm gonna come for you. I'm coming for your neck. <laughs> all your dog, all of y'all. <laughs> I told Simpson, I told uh, uh, what's his name, Derek. I told my boy Nick Walker. I told Jack. I told Andrew Jack. Blessing. I told uh, Blessing, Chupe, all of y'all. Y'all better tighten up because we're gonna bring their life to this sport, man. That's too soft. Y'all can't be soft. I need some. I need true competitor to come with me. We're excited we'll to see that. We need you in the press. <laughs> we need me, you need you in the press conference. To, to, oh man, oh. I need a press. Hey, <laughs> <man. laughs> you know, you're right. Oh my I'll god! Like, Yo, after oh five god. years, I'll be at the press conference. After five years, man, I'll come back for y'all. Y'all oh. make me come back. And Dio, before we wrap today, so <laughs> I want to get your opinion on this video yeah. of this funeral. Oh, I, I gotta get Victor already gave his opinion. I, yeah. I need to get your opinion. So, yeah. so this video of uh, you want to see it again or are you saw it? Oh, no, yeah, 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 yeah. So the guy is in a, the guy's in a, instead of a casket, he is attached to the to the incline bench, and people are taking pictures around it. What do you think? It's a real video? Do you think it's staged? Nah, man, it gotta be real, man. When you die by this, you know what I mean. It's, when you live a certain lifestyle, people know you for. They gotta honor you like that. And when I die, I want you to bury me with a bench press. <laughs> <laughs> when I die, I need two dumbbells. He said, "Live and die." You know by what I'm the, saying? Live and die by the barbell. Yeah, I'm not saying this. Is how I spend my life. This is what you do for a living. I gym. So if I die, make sure I'm in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> but whoever did that was crazy. If it's a skit, you got me. You know what I mean? <laughs> but yo, <laughs> but it's crazy though. It's a crazy video. <laughs> that was a crazy video. All right, uh, guys. And yo, plenty it up. Stop looking soft. Stop looking weak. Stop looking sloppy. It is your boy, NDO Champ. Tune in right now to Generation Iron. I swear to God, I don't want to see you eating no sloppy. Put everything down. Click the button. Share. Like. Subscribe to the top. And tag your friend. Tag everybody right now. Let's go. You know what it is, man. <laughs> wow. Amazing podcast. Awesome. Man. Hey, yo, listen up, man. Milk is for baby. Beef built muscle. You hear me? Yeah, I said it. Beef built muscle. Colorful nation, baby. RTDs, baby. On the go. Let's get it. Milk is for babies. Beef it up with colorful RTDs. 40 grams of protein. Zero fat, zero sugar, zero lactose. Get yours today.